love that you're tuned in with us. Of course, you know straight up we're all about having live guests on the show. So today the DJ skills are on point. So we had to invite somebody very special. Before I even get there, Katrix Nyambie, how do you feel about, um, you know, female DJs on the decks? I support female DJs. And, uh -huh. and, and, and they all know. I have a couple of friends who are female DJs. And I'm also looking for a female DJ for, for my company, Spin Cycle. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. I love it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this might just be the female DJ for you because I believe she is the bestest. Definitely <laughs> representing female DJs in Kenya. Y'all know the one and only. Can you, can you name a female DJ, by the way? Do you have someone in your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking about her, right? Yeah. She is the fabulous DJ Pierre camera pan to the right 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 <laughs> yeah what a girl you must stand please cuz um you are looking amazing leo <laughs> umekuja I will send her purposely to try and please Katrix. Oh, am I good enough for you? <laughs> yes, by the way, he is looking for somebody. Can you twirl for us? Twirl, twirl, twirl. Hello. Am I good enough for you, <laughs> Katrix? In the gun, he said, nice. No, this is DJ here. Hello. Carrie, go to the straight up studio. But that, I am thinking, yes, today we just stand and do our interview. There we go. Yes, we don't even need to sit down because this is a lot of fabulousness to be Overrated. sitting down with. Cynthia, to Sangayuk next to K-Chicks, by the way. Ah. You're so Danny, this one-on-one -on -one with DJ Pierre. So Nikopa. Yes, see, it's kind of so, like a Lego. impromptu. <laughs> Teach me stuff. Um, like, this is your, what do you call it? Interview? Yeah. Yeah? So it's a DJ for thing. Audition mm. yeah. so for, for spin cycle DJs. Oh my gosh. Oh my no, gosh, listen, I'm telling you, Kuni Pandisha Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> okay, DJ Pierre, uh -huh. tell us real quick for someone who's watching and maybe they have no idea because they're living like in Mars, like in mm -hmm. another galaxy somewhere, they don't mm -hmm. know who you be. Mm -hmm. To Ambie, who is DJ Pierre? Um, DJ Pierre, DJ Pierre. DJ Pierre started as an actress mm -hmm. uh, way back in Taidi High. I'm sure many of you remember Jim Joyce, the bad girl. And then uh, I got into changes and uh, many other stuff. And then okay. I later realized I have so much passion for music. And then I got into DJing like a joke. I went to people like Kate Tricks over here. And I was like, dude, what do you think about this? He gave me music. He's like, you know what? Try it out. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. You know, teaching me some skills. He was actually the first DJ to host me on the show. Wow. Remember? Way yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were on the other side. On the other side, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that's how I started and it became a passion. And the next thing I knew, I was touring the US and whatever. And touring the US? Just throw it in there. You know, I had to. Like, it's, 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 it's cutting out. Like, I'm doing really well. I'm not lying. Yes. I'm I mean, happy. but I do I say? It. Yeah. No, no, no. It's 2014 was great and 2015 is going to be better. There you go. Yeah. I love it. So, okay, how was it touring the US? Like, did you go to the Kenyan bashes, like where the, the, a lot of the Kenyans yeah. like to hang out, of course, representing? Yeah, the first, first time I toured the U.S. was a total Nigerian concert. Total Nigerian concert. So I was Zuko, Sekem, Sekem, and all the Afrobeat music. It was crazy. I was playing with uh, 10 uh, DJs from uh, Nigeria, wow. your spin all, your whatever. I mean, it was a huge concert. I was really scared and I was the only female yeah, DJ. Yeah, that is super scary. It was good for three days. We did New York, we did, uh, New Jersey, and D.C. And nice. then now I came back again to do uh, the, the U.S. tour, not my shake-up tour. Yeah. I did uh, six states, your Seattle, Kansas, wow. and whatever. I did so many states, and most of them actually were East Africans and, of course, a bit of West African. And it was big. Amazing. I'm going back in February for Vegas rugby. This, oh, rugby is huge. I know, I know. So glad and it's in Vegas this year. Yes. Amazing. Well, y'all got to get out there because there's a lot happening. I know, it's great. Oh, okay. How old are you, baby, DJ? Can you say? Two tricks. How young? Should we say? Am I supposed to? You know, you know. If I say this, people will never believe. Let me tell you, me and Chero, I can't, I can't think of her because I'm with her every Saturday. Lazima ni seme. What do you think? I would say like twenty-three. Oh, I'd tend to that. Ooh. Thirty-three. Yeah. <gasps> you are older than me, girl. Shut up. Don't make what? me feel bad big about sister. it. Big <laughs> sister. Hello, big sister. I'm already feeling bad about it. You don't have to, don't have to push it. By the way, I'm thirty-three and blessed. And, and, and my, my producer is asking if, if you're single. If I'm oh, single. Yeah, the the Kelele's in the ear. Yeah, the Kelele's in the ear. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
Yes. This one is the real deal, though. This one oh, is uh, not I'm, available. I'm, <laughs> hey, even now I'm not available. At <laughs> Jimliki. I'm not available by then. <laughs> that was like a really big question that was being asked here. What do you okay. mean you're not available? You just say you're single. As long as ain't nobody put a ring on it, girl. That's true. That's true. Because if you like it, then you should put a ring on it. Hella. <laughs> anyway. But I'm easy, you know. I'm not trying to date or anything. Okay. No, I'm easy. We got it. We got um, it. You're, you're not single. Right. So anyways, moving on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I think, when I think DJ, I think like, how can you keep up with all the music? That's my big question. Like, there's so much music out there. I know. How do you even deal? I'll tell you what, first and foremost, I play all kind of genres of music. I mean, I, I play everything. And I, if I tell you the truth, my favorite song, I don't know if Ketrix is going to play it later, mm. but it's Mukangala. That's like my favorite right. song. Mukangala. Request. When I, when I scare that song, I just go like, whoa, Mukangala. You know, I just sing <laughs> the lyrics in Paka Musha. We have to play it. I need to dance to this one. I have a feeling like I'm inspired with some new dance Exactly. Moves. So I, I love all kinds of music. So I, anytime I scare and go, mom, like, Wow, I like that. I like that. I like that. So every time new music comes, yeah. I'm just excited to hear it. I love and, it. And you know, to just like put in my database and all that. So I, I'm able to keep up with my, my selection of music and the fact that my people, I mean, my fans love the music. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but let me look for this dancehall song because I know people like Rambo Kanambo. What? Hey! That mm -hmm. song has given me issues, man. <laughs> the first time it talked, you know, I didn't have it. Yeah. And then I go to this concert with my youths and those people, you know, who dance, the Uhuru dance, and they're like, Rambo Kanambo, me, I'm like, <laughs> Sauti <laughs> Soja, Meli, yeah. Sauti Soja. Rambo Kanambo, Rambo Kanambo, yeah. So by the, mm. by the time I got the song, yeah, now it's normally the first song in my playlist. Okay. I don't joke with dancing. Rambo Kanambo, <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> school. You know, someone asked DJ Perry, let me ask you one quick thing while okay. K-Tricks thinks of a question for There's you. Someone who's asking if you guys are sisters. I there know. you go. Oh. And someone else is saying, uh, female DJ fabulous. Uh, is, is it a he? Yeah, it's a he. It's a he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the girls can, 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 can give love too. Without but I get so shade. much love from girls, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I do. do you have any, like, um, what are the downfalls of being like a chick DJ, would you say? Um, like, do people, like, not take you so seriously? First and foremost, girl? yeah. I have a day job. I'm a project manager at Ogilvy and Africa. So every time I go to work, these people, you know, and even my desk is written there at DJ Piera. Uh -huh. So even my clients, sometimes I don't think they take me seriously. So when I walk in and I'm, I'm presenting, you know, this big project and whatever, yes. someone is looking at me like, it's really? not the same DJ Wazuko, <laughs> like, you know? Yes. Yeah, so uh, there's that. But for the club side, for the club side, most people will see you like, oh, she's, she can't carry equipment. Oh, she can't do, she can't do, she can't do. Yeah. You know me, I carry my vinyls, I just come and set up and I'm whatever. I'm so gangster. Right. So people don't believe chicks can do that. And, and I, I love your fashion sense, too. When you DJ, you be on it. She likes to wag it. Represent She likes me. I, I told mean, you girls like me. Yeah, you got to <laughs> give love where it's due. Thank That's all I say. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate but, it. But you know, if you don't deserve it, I ain't going to tell you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you just got my producer saying many things. But anyways, they've been asking a lot of questions mm. for you. A lot of people here want to know, like, um, how is it like having a career as a DJ? Like, is this something you would actually recommend out there to parents who have kids? Like, how do you even know you have a passion to be a DJ? I'll tell you what. It's just that... I studied so much. I went to school, I got my degree, and I studied so much. Otherwise, I would have dropped my day job and became a full-time DJ. Ah. I am. So you don't want to put your degree to waste, which is what? No, and I love my job, man. I mean, advertising. Advertising is just everything. It's so what you get a degree in? Mass communication. Mass communication. Yeah, so I'll tell you what. DJing and Katrix, I'm not really kind any DJ over here. Oh, see, you guys make money, man. <laughs> you guys make money. You know, these DJs just play like every day, yeah. Monday to Friday, and no DJ is paid less than 20 Gs. Mm. By end of the week, you guys have like 100 Gs. You get, DJs make money. <laughs> it's a career by itself. And yeah, 20 Gs is like the little, the little you get. That's like the least you could get, yeah, 20 so, Gs. Exactly. So DJing has money. I'll be honest with you. If you wake up, you know, check out your brand and make it very well, and mm -hmm. then concentrate and g make it professional. You go big. Look I at DJ Baby said, She said something very, very um, interesting. Yes. Be professional. Be professional. There's a lot of money in it, but if, if you get in it for the wrong reasons, uh -huh. yeah. you're, you're, you're finished. You're messed. You're finished. It's that simple. And especially for chicks, eh? Yeah. People look at a chick DJ, they're like, ah, exactly. That, that uh, bang, bang, uh, and I'm done. Yes. You know, they just mm. look at you as a sex machine, I'll be honest mm. with you. Right. Mm. And you know, mm. if you stand up and show them your professional, I mean, your. I mean, I'm coming here to work and I bounce. Like, I don't stay in the club 30 minutes after DJ. Yeah. You know, keep it like that. Mm. I play, I leave. That's about it. It's not it's about work. every DJ at the, oh, a female DJ will come, oh, I'll bang and I'll give her a job. Yeah. That's 
for lack of art. <laughs> I mean, that's what they say. Yeah. That's that's actually it's, that's it's what, a that's a downfall of most mm. female DJs. Yeah. yeah. So you're like, oh, I'll talk to Katrix. I'll do him a favor. He'll do me a favor. You mm. know. But that when you do that. Epic Chini. Chini. Nice. Chini. Okay, last word, Katrix. Um, no, I, mean, I just want to ask her to carry on, keep on keeping on, and uh, get other young DJs, female DJs, nurture them. So I'm that starting more. a school. Yeah? Ooh. I am. Oh, yeah, tell us about that. I'm starting a school in, um, in very soon, but it launches in April. Okay. But okay. April 11. Yeah. Because many people have been asking, oh, we need to learn, we need to learn. Mm. So I've been looking for professional DJs who've like, retired and want yeah. to train younger people. Yeah. And I'm... Um, I'm just doing it as a more of giving back. Yeah, I love so it. yeah, all these people have been telling me, oh, teach us how to DJ and all that. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm into that, and I'm teaching all about branding yourself and how you can make money and how. So to how can use they the money. get to this school? How can they? I, I'm gonna put it out there for okay. applications. But so they need to follow now, you on Facebook. On, on Facebook, DJ Piera Kenya. On Instagram, it's Piera Mac, and on Twitter, it's Piera M. Yeah. Okay. Get it? You might just be making them. Dollar dollar oh, <laughs> soon and very soon. Very thank soon. you so much for no, coming. Thank you through. so much for having me. You I look lovely. It. Keep it up, man. Thank Just so everything much. that you're doing. I'm so excited. Thank you. I forgot to say that I'm very God fearing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, everything I give it's to God. Hello. Hello. We are like awesome. Jesus <laughs> Juice. Oh, there oh, it is. True. It's true. God is got me. I mean, oh, at the end of the day, we don't like put this talent on ourselves. It Let comes me. from the from God. Yeah. Source. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much.